Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's going on everybody? Um, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching my content, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I come to you with news. I think pretty much we already knew. Um, Y'all know who that little baby is right there. That's uh, Malia Bass. And I just found out today that... Um, the body has been identified as the young baby. It has been identified as her. Um, again, I don't think none of us are surprised that it was her. Like I said in one of my earlier videos, it, it's her. I mean, it, it was just her. You know, it, it could be nobody else but her. So, um, rest in peace to the young lady. And... Um, Let's see uh, what the news has to say about all this, and uh, what are they what are they going to do next, or what's going to happen next? And hopefully, um, they have evidence or got enough evidence to say who the assailants were, which we all pretty much feel it's the mom and the boyfriend. All right, so uh, let's have a listen. The examiner officially identified the body of a child found last week as missing two-year-old Malia Bass. Yesterday, we were there as family and supporters gathered to remember her. The two-year-old girl went missing while playing at a playground in her apartment complex. Her body was discovered several hours later in Bray's Bayou. Now, investigators and everyone in the community are still trying to figure out exactly what happened to her. The community where Malia lived, they, they, they're really doing a great job. They want justice. They're hurting, and I understand that. At this point, nobody has been arrested. Friends and family of Malia Bass gathered today for a vigil as police still try to figure out exactly what happened to her. She was the center of an Amber Alert last weekend, you may remember, and her body was found hours later in Bray's Bayou. Houston police believe the body is hers, but they've not yet publicly identified her body. The child's mother and her mother's boyfriend say they left her alone on a playground at their apartment for a couple of minutes when she disappeared. Okay, uh, look like they played uh, Udemy. 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 two news clips in one. It appears that's exactly what they did. Um, what, what can I say? Um, I'm not really shocked, but a little bit heartbroken because uh, this is last year, 2019, I did a lot of stories about children, and I said uh, 2019 is the year of the children, and look like in 2020, it's happening all over again, all over the world, and a lot of these stories aren't getting the, the, the attention that it deserves, you know, um, I think all children murders should get the get attention and should be a uh, fire lit on it always but unfortunately we live in times that all children's stories just don't get out there and i guess in a sense it may be impossible to get all the children's stories out there i, I don't know you know i'm not a news broadcaster uh you know i just sit here and do uh, news stories with y'all on youtube you know so uh i just get them as they come but as uh, far as news stations and all that, I don't know how does it work, or I don't know they get the information, they hold on to it. I, I just don't know how does how does this work. But there's a lot of stories about these children that get slipped through the cracks, you know, and uh, light don't never get shined on it. And that's why I'm grateful for myself and other uh, content creators who do stories on children because they voice need to be heard when they voice is not being heard. Amen. Um, so here's what I'm gonna say about this. Um, I, I mean, cause I, I I really don't have no words right now, other than 
there was a video floating around. Uh, I never got a hold of it, but I did get a chance to see some of it. There was a video floating around. Whoever this young lady was or ladies was in this apartment. It was allegedly supposed to be the mom apartment. Now, you remember um, the mom was talking about they was cooking breakfast and all that, but for what the ladies allegedly exposed, that um, it wasn't shit in there to cook. And the apartment just looked filthy. She claimed that it stinks in there and everything, you know. And I see another video where um, a young lady was outside and um, this truck was getting ready to pull off. And I guess the boyfriend and the mother was in the truck. And uh, she was going nuts, you know. Um, and which I can understand, you know, that shows me that's a community that cares, I guess. But at the same time, it seemed like that they care too late. You know, um, I don't know... Um, how much this village had a hand involved in this child or how much this village, I'm gonna call it the village because uh, back in my day, they called it the village. I don't know um, how much this village dealt with the family or how much they even communicate with them. But apparently this community village or whatever, you know, mustn't take too kind to neither one of them, at least what it sounds like to me. They didn't take too kind to neither one of them. They uh, fuck with them with a long handle spoon. I guess I can understand why. Because um, in this day of time, you can't tell nobody about their child. So, reason you know, you tell them the right thing, then, you know, they just burst up in flames. But they're not just children. You got a lot of people, you try to tell them the right thing, period. They just go off on you because you try to tell them something that is right. Now, I get it. A lot of us don't like, no, don't like people up in our business. We don't. But damn, sometimes we got to get out there in stubborn mode and listen to people who telling us what is right. Trust me, it will save a lot of stress later if we just open our ears and listen, okay? And maybe this mother was one of the ones that people was trying to tell her, you're doing this all wrong. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it wrong. You're not treating that baby right. Then you got this dude over here uh, saying... I remember one part, he says, I'm not playing the Xbox, but then somebody later came and told me, uh, he claimed that, it, that the Xbox was broke. Somebody posted on Facebook, the Xbox was broke. So how you playing a game and it's broke? You know, according to what was told to me, how you playing a game and it's broke? So now this whole thing, just it just fishy all over. You know, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know if this woman allowed this man to do shit to her child or both of them was in on it. I, I, I just don't know. But for what it might sound like, both of them was in on it, especially when Quanell came out and said, allegedly, they told him that uh, they went to the store late night and she wasn't with them. Now, uh, my recent video prior to this, you know, people were saying, me, you know, hey, we think the baby probably was dead before they even went to the store. And I ain't even think about that. That's why I like when a lot of y'all come and come because y'all give me stuff that I've been to miss doing these videos. And that's one of the things I missed, the baby more like it probably was dead before they even went to the store. They left their child there by herself. It's a damn shame. A damn shame. I wish we could bring back the adults they would have in the 80s because trust me, it would be less children deaths. But again, like I said in my recent videos, you got babies just having babies or you got people just having children for the benefit portion of it. Or you got people who just having children and think they can handle what comes behind it, but really they can't and get stressed out and take out their anger and pain on the children to the point where death has occurred. And we're seeing this too often now. Seeing it too often. We're all the great granddaddies now. We're all the great grandmothers now. Or some of us, what we call them, big mamas. You know, the big mamas. The big mamas actually cared about the children. They love you to death. But they'll put you in place when they need to put you in place. It seems like we don't have we don't have none of them anymore. All of them either dead, or all of them, you know, is gone. Well, which is both of the same thing. Or you got some people who just don't want to deal with that side of the family. Don't want to bring their children with that side of the family, which really I think that's a bad thing. Cause that's the side of the family they probably really need to be at the most. Because they could teach them some things because they already been here and done that. That they've been here and done that. So they could teach us some things. Lord knows I had the elderly teaching me. And they told me some things. And how they live back then up to now. Totally whole totally different ball game. Whole totally different ball game.
So uh, let me read to y'all what this uh, article says, and uh, I, I'm done today. Come out with new evidence. You know, uh, that's all I could do. So it says that uh, the body of Malia Bass was formally identified Sunday, a week after she went missing from a playground at her parents' apartment complex. The Harris County Institute of Forensic Science confirmed what her family already knew. See, the family already knew. But the cause of death hasn't been determined. That's what we're waiting on, too. I mean, to bring it up, too. What was the cause of her death? The identification came a day after Malia's grandmother spoke to ABC 13 about their family's grief over losing the two-year-old little girl. She loved Baby Shark. She loved Pink. She loved Minnie Mouse. Uh, Rosalie, if I said it right, Rosalie Jemison. I don't know who that is. Oh, excuse me. I guess that's news. Uh, reporter Rosalie Jemison said. She was just my everything. I hate that she's gone, but I want justice for Malia. Many Houstonians hoped the body found would not be Malia's. However, her grandmother and now the medical examiner have confirmed it to be true. This is the video I was talking about right here with the tension and uh, the girl was just going crazy and, you know, um, man, it's crazy here. Yeah. I'd have seen this one too, so I don't need to play that. Police say Malia's mom told them two-year-old was playing in the courtyard outside their apartment a beach nut. The 20-year-old said, 20 years old, uh, said she left the toddler alone for a few minutes. When she came back, Malia was missing. Hmm. Police believe foul play was involved in the child's death. So far, no arrests have been made. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And um, that's all I got right now, guys. So uh, if any other updates uh, come up, um, you know, I'll come back and do an update. Or if anyone of y'all know, um, if they already determined what the death was, which I doubt it. But then again, you got different news sites that's covering this. You know, um, y'all hit me up on my email, which is bigcdt at gmail.com. I will put it in the description box. You know, anybody can send me the information if you got it. Um, that's, that's all I got to say for this. That's all I got to say about this right now, guys. Uh, rest in peace, young lady. You deserve better than what you had gotten. You deserve better than what you have gotten. I'm your man, Chris Thorns, and uh, thank you for watching the